Bonjour from Cameroon. Today, we're gonna to make banana cakes. And here in the United States, we make banana muffins. So, the first thing we gotta do when we come in the kitchen is wash our hands. I've already done that. Next, we're gonna gather our ingredients. We need bananas and water and oil and eggs and baking powder and salt and flour and sugar baking soda, and cinnamon. Before we get started, you need to preheat your oven at 350. And then you're gonna put the muffin liners inside your tins. If you don't have muffin liners, you can always spray them with Pam. This way they won't stick. All right, so now we're gonna go make it. So, the first thing we're gonna do, which is something a little different than I'm used to, is we're gonna take these bananas and we're gonna put it in a blender to mash them all up. When you do this, you wanna look for the bananas that are fully ripe. They actually look a little overripe. That's when the flavors are nice and strong to do this. And you, if you can find really large bananas, you only need two of them. If you got kind of small bananas, you know what, three. Let's see, I think we can fit a third one in here. Let's try it. Yeah, I think that one's gonna have to get blended after. And it says to add a fourth cup of water. Let's save a little bit of this water for when we blend the other half of that banana. Put this on. second banana, or third banana actually, the rest of it, the rest of the water, put that on. And the two eggs. Remember to crack your eggs in something different just in case they're not good and then add them to your mixture. And now it says to mix this well. Scrape it off so it's flat and you have 
a half a teaspoon of the baking powder, baking, and then we need, it says a pinch of salt. So, and just take it, pinch. Now we're going to add one and a half cups of our flour. You can either scrape it off on the side of your bag or container, or you can take a knife and use the back of it and scrape it off that way because you want level measuring cups. Is the half. Is the whole cup. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. teaspoon of the baking soda. And we're going to mix this all up. Looks like it's all mixed up now, so we can add them to our liners. You're going to fill a liner two-thirds full. that they eat these for breakfast which is what I do too um, they said the bakeries all have them this is something that's very popular out there they have them for snacks they make it a meal they just really enjoy them thing well their cakes the banana cakes Okay, it looks like they're all done now. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon on top of each one of these. And once you get all of them done, you take either a spoon or a little knife and you're gonna swirl it so they look like that. Don't want to mix it. You just want to give it a little swirl. So I'm going to finish these and then we're going to stick them in the oven. You're going to cook them for 20 minutes. And when they're all done, we'll be right back to show you what they look like. Well, my timer just went off and we're going to check on the banana cakes. Well, before you go to the, and open up the oven, you really should grab some pot holders because it's gonna be really hot. They look and smell delicious. Let's see. If you have a toothpick or a cake tester, you stick it in to see if it's done. And if nothing comes out, you're good. They're done. Well, I hope you enjoy. Have a good week. Bye.